Good day. Our next topic is on problem solving. So number one, problem solving with patterns. So we have sequences. A sequence is an ordered list of numbers. Each number in a sequence is called a term of the sequence. The A sub N is used to designate the nth term of a sequence, or meaning the location of the given number. A formula that can be used to generate all the terms of a sequence is called the nth term formula. But we will only focus on this difference table. So predict the next term. Use a difference table to predict the next term in the following sequences. So we have these two. So how do we use this or construct this difference table? So letter A, we have this. So the first difference, d sub 1, so we just have this, 14 minus 5 is 9, 27 minus 14 is 13, 44 minus 27 is 17, and 65 minus 44 is 21. So all of these are differences. Number 2, the next one is differences, the next differences, so again, 13 minus 9 is 4, 17 minus 13 is 4, 21 minus 17 is 4. So since all of these differences are equal, then we will now stop. So the pattern is, it means that the next difference here must be also 4. Okay, And going up, we just need to add. So like this. Okay, so the next difference here is 4, so 21 plus 4 is... 25 then 65 plus 25 is 90 therefore the next term is 90 now for letter b so we have these numbers so the first difference is this or differences 7 minus 2 24 minus 7 and so on so we have this first row of differences the next 17 minus 5, we have 12, 35 minus 17, 18, 59 minus 35 is 24, and 89 minus 59 is 30. So since the differences are not are not yet equal, then we proceed. So 18 minus 12 is 6, 24 minus 18 is 6, 30 minus 24 is 6. So all of the differences now are equal, so we will stop. So therefore, we will go up, so 30 plus 6, so we have 36, again 89 plus 36, we have 125, and 207 plus 125 is 332. So that the next term is 332. Okay, this will be the last topic under the problem solving. Now, let's discuss the problem solving strategies. So, one of the foremost recent mathematicians to make a study of problem solving was George Polya. He was born in Hungary and moved to the U.S. in 1940. The basic problem solving strategy that Polya advocated consisted of the following four steps. So, what are these steps? Number one, of course, we must understand the problem. And then we need to devise a plan on how do we attack or solve the problem. Then we must carry out our plan, and then we must review or check our answer or solution. So Polya's four steps are deceptively simple. To become a good problem solver, it helps to examine each of these steps and determine what is involved. Now let's understand first each of these steps. So understand the problem. So you must have a clear understanding of the problem. So if you can understand the problem, then you can restate the problem in your own words. You can determine what is known about this type of problems. And you can also determine the missing information, or if there are, is there extraneous information, and what is the goal of this problem. Okay, so that is understanding the problem. You must know what must be your goal. Okay, you must understand the problem.
Next is devise a plan. So after you understand the problem, then you can now devise a plan. So successful problem solvers use a variety of techniques when they attempt to solve a problem. So we have this some uh, techniques in so problem solving. So make a list of the known information. You can draw a diagram. You can make an organized list that shows all the possibilities. You can make a table or a chart. You can work backwards. You can also look for a pattern. And you can also write an equation of or formula. So if a problem needs a formula, so the formula is on step number two, devise a plan. Okay, so in devising a plan, this must be your tool in solving this problem. Okay, so after devising a plan or having a tool in solving this problem, you must use that plan or tool to solve the problem. So you must now carry out the plan. So once you have devised a plan, you must carry it out. So work carefully. Keep an accurate and neat record of all your attempts. Realize that some of your initial plans will not work and that you may have to devise another plan or modify your existing plan. Because it is not always, always the case that you can uh, always solve the problem directly. Okay? You, you may try different techniques first or tools to solve the problem but if will not if it will not work then of course you use another technique or tool to carry out the plan and solve the problem correctly and of course last if you have now the answer you must check and review okay so ensure that the solution is consistent with the facts of the problem Interpret the solution in the context of the problem and ask yourself whether there are generalization of the solution that could apply to other problems. So in this case, we must always look back to our problem if it is really consistent with the problem. Okay, so to understand these four, we must apply this in these three different examples. Okay, example one, a baseball team won two out of their last four games. In how many different orders could they have two, win two wins and two losses in four games? So in four games, we must create or we must find out how many orders could they win. Now, two wins, could they have two wins and two losses? So in any order okay as long as there are four games so understand the problem so there are many different orders the team may have won two straight games and lost the last two so we have win win lose lose or maybe they lost at the first two games and won the last two games so we have loss or lose lose win win of course, there are also other possibilities. Okay, now that we understand the problem, we can now devise a plan. So since it is about order, we will make an organized list of all possible orders. Each entry in our list must contain two wins and two losses. Or we can also use the formula permutation because permutation is all about arrangement. So now we have now our plan. Our plan is to list down the orders, possible orders. So number one, we have this WWLL. Number two, WLWL. We can have WLLW, LWWL. L W L W and L L W W. So there are six. Or by using the permutation, we have four taken two, which is equal to six. So either of these two devices, their result is six. Okay, and last is to review. A base. Ah, okay, this is the problem. 
So the list has no duplicates, if you can see in the previous slides. And the list considers all possibilities. So we are confident that there are six different orders in which a baseball team can win exactly two out of four games. Okay, so now let's go to the next example. In consecutive turns of a Monopoly game, Stacy first paid $800 for a hotel. She then lost half her money when she landed on boardwalk. Next, she collected $200 for passing go. She then lost half her remaining money when she landed on Illinois Avenue. Stacy now has $2,500. How much did she have just before she purchased the hotel? So we start, we will start with understanding the problem. So we need to determine the number of dollars that Stacy had just prior to her $800 hotel purchase. So before she paid the $800 for a hotel, we must know her money. Okay, so that is the problem. Now devise a plan. Since we know the end result, let's try the method of working backwards. Okay, so we will start at the end. So we'll start with two, 2,500 and then we'll go up. So that is our plan, then we'll carry out that plan. Okay, we'll start with the red. Stacy must have had 2,500 times 2, which is equal to $5,000 just before she landed on Illinois Avenue. Okay, just take the opposite of lost half because we're working backwards, so, so we multiply it by 2. Okay, next is she collected 2, so this time we subtract. Okay, the opposite of collected is she gave it. So $5,000 minus $200 is equal to $4,800. So just before she passed go, so the blue one. Next, she then lost. So the opposite of this loss is addition. But of course, this is her half. So this is not addition. This is multiplication. So she then lost half of her money. So multiplication opposite is times 2. So 4,800 times 2, which is equal to $9,600. Prior to landing on boardwalk. And last, before she paid the $800, so we must add. So this means that $9,600 plus $800 is equal to $10,400 just before she purchased the hotel. So that is our answer in carry, carrying out the plan. But of course, we must check or review. So to check our solution, we start with 10,400 and proceed through each of the transactions. So now since we're reviewing our solution, so we'll go from top to bottom. So 10,400 minus 800. So we have this, the first one. And next she lost half. So 9,600 times uh, half. So times one half. So of course she's left with $4,800 and then she collected $200 so add $4,800 plus $200 is equal to $5,000 and then she then lost half again so multiply it by two or by one half so we have $2,500 because when we say she lost half it means the other half is also uh, also remains to her or in her pocket okay so that is why we have we will multiply one half times five thousand so one half of five thousand is two thousand five hundred okay with this review we can say that the 
the uh, she had ten thousand four hundred just before she paid for a hotel. And last, so the sum of three consecutive numbers is thirty six. So what are the numbers? So understand the problem. So we just need three consecutive numbers with a sum of thirty six. So in the plan, so usually in the plan we have the tool, so usually the formula falls on the second step, the planning. So let x be the first number. So if x is the first number, then the two or the next two consecutive numbers should be x plus 1 and x plus 2. And of course, with the problem, the sum of these three must be equal to 36. That is why we have x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 equals 36. And then we carry out the plan, so we solve, or we, we, we solve this equation. So we have x is equal to 11. Therefore, the next two numbers are 12 and 13. Okay, so we review that 11, 12, and 13 are consecutive numbers. And of course, the sum of these three is 36. So therefore, the three consecutive numbers are 11, 12, and 13.